Hello, geometers and seekers of general truth. We finish our study of surface area with a complicated example. We have a, reg a regular pentagonal prism. It has a height of 30 inches. So that means this length right here is 30 inches. And it has a radius, or its base has a radius of 12. So that's this length right here. Okay. And for us to understand this a little bit better, let's break this up into the different faces. So there are two of these pentagons, and their radii is, or their radius is 12. And then going around the shape, there are five of these rectangles. And they have one of the lengths as being 30. And this length is what the, is the length that we don't know. So let me emphasize this a little bit. This length right here, right, of the pentagon is also the same length of that rectangle. So this rectangle here, right, that's going straight up. So this length right here. In other words, x. So what we need to do is figure out a little bit more about this pentagon. Well, if we divide 360 by 5, the number of sides, this angle here is 360 over 5, which is 72 degrees. And then if we divide that in half, we have this little angle in there. So 72 over 2 is equal to 36 degrees. So if I just considered this right triangle here, and I'm going to draw it out on this side, that right triangle has an angle of 36 degree up here and a hypotenuse of 12. Uh, I will label this length here y and this length here h. Okay. So if you use um, the trigonometric ratios, we can say that the sine of 36 is equal to the opposite side, that's y over 12. So 12 sine of 36 is equal to y. Okay. Then we can say that to solve for h, uh, cosine of 36 is equal to the adjacent length, which is h, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 12. So 12 cosine 36 degrees is equal to h. Okay. Now, with that information in mind, we can actually find the area of the pentagons. So let's look at the area of the pentagons. Okay. So for the, for the area of this one right triangle, it is 1 half times its base, which is y, which is 12 sine 36 times the height h which is 12 cosine 36 but we're talking about a pentagon so there are uh, several of these triangles here in the pentagon there are actually 10 altogether so we multiply that by 10 and we said that there are two of these pentagons right so we multiply all that by 2. Okay. Now, let us solve for x. Well, x isn't too hard to solve for. x is just twice the size of y. So you see here, this little green length here is y. That length right there is y. So x is just twice the size of y. So the area of a, of a single rectangle here is 30 times x. But remember, x is just twice the size of y, so 2 times 12 sine of 36. And there are five of these uh, rectangles altogether, so we multiply all that by 5. So now we have kind of a big expression here, and that's perfectly fine. We're going to do one calculation, do the other calculation, and then add them all up. Okay, so and we can actually just type all of that into a calculator. And I get a grand total of 2,800.7876. And our units here are inches squared. Inches squared. All right, so there we have it, a very complex example. But for a prism, it comes down to just breaking up the, the entire solid into all of its faces and then calculating the areas of those faces and adding them up. Keep working hard. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.